I am Amy, and welcome to your arms and abs workout. Today I'll be showing you six moves that will focus on your arms and your abs. All you'll need is a set of weights or some filled water bottles. So our first move will be a sit up to an overhead press. And you can do these moves with or without weights. Um, so if you do have them, place one in each hand. And you're going to extend your legs out a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And you'll hold your weight at your chest and you're going to roll yourself down and then come to a sit up and press the weight up overhead. Here we go. We have nine reps. So rolling down, exhale, sit up, overhead press. Ten, nine, inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Seven. Coming nice and tall on the way up. Four. Three. Two. Okay, one more all the way down. Exhale, sit up and pressing the weight all the way up overhead. Very good. Okay, so our next move will be a V sit arm curl and an option to add your knees in and out. So we're gonna create a V shaped with our torso and our legs. So we're gonna roll the shoulders up, back, down, away from the ears. Keep the chest lifted as you lean back about 45 degrees. Press the knees together, pressing the heels together. So option one, you can keep your heels on the floor the entire time. Or if you'd like a little more of a challenge, you can bring your feet up off the floor. So we have an arm curl up and down, palms facing up, and then you're going to sit back and bring the knees in. So we have 10 reps. So option one, feet on the floor the entire time, or you can join me and I'm going to have my legs up and you're going to be extending your legs out and in. So first we start with the arm curl. We'll count the arm curls up and down. 10, 9, 8. Four, three more, keep breathing. Two, last one, all the way out, all the way in, arms all the way up and down. Whew, nice job. Okay, next we're gonna come into a sit up and then a 90 degrees lateral raise. So your elbows will be in 90 degrees and you'll raise them up sideways. Elbows come up about shoulder height and then you'll lower back down. So again, we'll keep our legs extended straight out a little bit wider than hip distance apart. I'm on a mat today, so you can, so I like to gauge how wide my mat is. So I usually place my feet as wide as my mat. So we're gonna roll down, sit up, and then work in the shoulders this time. Uh, lateral shoulders, adults, 90 degree lateral raise up and down, two, Few more. Exhale on the way up. Okay, two more. Lower down, sit up, lateral raise, up and down. Last one. And up and done, one and done. Okay, next we're gonna come into a V sit dumbbell straddle to an overhead press. So we'll take one dumbbell, Place it between your feet, again, creating that V-shaped, and you'll take the other dumbbell, holding it horizontal, holding on the ends at your chest, leaning back, and you're gonna straddle the dumbbell that is between your feet, and then add an overhead press up and down. So we'll count those overhead presses. We have 10, here we go. Up, down, press. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
Okay, one more. Up, down, press. One and done, very good. And our last move we have is our sit up to two dumbbell reaches. So one dumbbell in each hand, feet as wide as your mat or a little bit wider than hip distance apart. You're gonna roll down, sit up, and then reach, reach. So a little torso rotation, working the obliques, the sides of the core. Reach, reach. There's two, we have eight more sit-ups. Five. Twist, twist, three more. Let's do one more, all the way down, sit up and reach and reach. One and done, nice job. All right, let's stretch out our arms and our core. So we'll come into a full body stretch. Oh, we missed one. We have a plank, arm curls. So this next one will be in a plank and option one, you can use, you can do shoulder taps and you're curling the arms, tapping the opposite shoulder. So a good bicep work. So work in the muscles at the top of the front of the arm. Or option two, you can use your dumbbells, one in each hand, and you can do an arm curl, arm curl while you're in a plank or in a tabletop position. So knees or toes. So curl, curl, and then we have a push-up. So I'm going to do shoulder taps as my arm curls, and then you have push-ups on the knees or on the toes. We'll count the push-ups. Here we go. So shoulders are over the wrists, and with push-ups you want your hands a little bit wider than shoulder distance. You're gonna curl the arm up, one, two, and then a push up down and up. Here's 10, nine, eight, seven, that's five. Remember your options, push up on the knees or the toes, four, three, Two, last one, very good. Push the hips up and back into child's pose. Deep breaths in and out. And then you can walk your hands to the right side. You can even place your left hand on top of your right hand, feeling the stretch down the left side from those sit-up dumbbell reaches, torso rotations. And then we'll walk the hands to the left side. Right hand places on top of the left. And then bring your hands back to the center, walk them towards you under the shoulders and we'll push ourselves up, and then we'll come all the way down onto our stomachs, hands on the mat next to your armpits, press the palms down, lift the chest. Good ab stretch. Lift all those sit-ups and V-sits, and then lower back down. Okay, one more. Press the palms down, lift the chest, And lower back down. And you can bend the knees, windshield wiper the legs side to side, releasing the lower back. And then bringing them back to center, extending them back down. We'll push ourselves up. And we'll come into a comfortable seated position. And let's open the chest, stretch the arms. So we did some arm curls, so a good way to work the, or stretch the biceps is thumbs down, reaching back. 
Good stretch for the arms, the shoulders. And then your left arm comes across. And then switch. Okay, and then we'll interlace the hands, reach forward, stretching the upper back. And then reach the arms up overhead and down to the side. And to the other side. And then both arms reach up overhead, palms together, and draw a strong line right down to your heart. And those are your six moves working your arms and your abs. So once again, my name is Amy, and it was my pleasure leading you through these moves, and I hope to see you next time.